Hello everyone and welcome to SE Geek, the internet's most passionate software engineering show. I am your host, the Software Engineering Geek, and in this show, we're going to be talking about Git. So kick back, relax, open up your mind, let the knowledge seep in, because SE Geek begins now. Okay, so we're moving on into Git. So Git, as I said, is a distributed version control system. Uh, it's very much command line uh, driven, but there are uh, some UIs for it. Uh, most notab notably, uh, Tortoise Git and uh, Rabbit VCS. Um, I'll talk about those in another episode. I kind of discourage them for. Uh, software engineers in general, but I would say some of the people who are not so uh, command line savvy might be drawn towards those. But there are various caveats, like little pain points with each of those that are worth noting before you jump too far into those. So if you're going that route, I'd say check out those future videos um, before diving into those particular types of uh, get. Now, just to start off, we are on the command line right here. So, and uh, what I'm going to do is I have uh, this particular, uh, let's go into the Grails repository, which I was in before, um, you know, just to, you know, show you around a little bit. So, first off, you notice we have something here called master. So, in get, what what you have is uh, you have branches and every everything is on a branch and the you know first branch you get is master. Um, not to say that you can't make you know different branches. Start with you know whatever you you know you can change this to whatever you really want. But usually traditionally your main integration branch is usually called master, um, and that's what we have right here. So. The other thing is uh, we have commands like the get commands. So if you type, you know, a command and just hit enter, it'll give you like a little bit of help of like, you know, what this command is actually meant to do. But if you want something a little bit more substantial, you could do get, well, in this one, I think it'll just show, actually, it'll show the manual file. Whoop. That shows help. Uh, it just shows the same thing, actually, which... Uh, you know, somewhat useful. Uh, you know, it tells you the different sub commands, and there's, I think there's there is a few more beyond this, but these are the basic uh, sub commands. But if you did something like a get, uh, say log, dash dash help, it'll actually give you the manual page for that, which will give you a lot more depth of information of like what are your different options and you know you can stroll through this using page up page down the arrow keys and to exit out you just press Q and it takes you back to the command line uh, something else you can do is get log dash H which will show you you know just basic usage for most of these instead of the whole manual page it'll show you an abbreviated version um, so that's you know one of the basic you know get commands. So there are a few other commands like that I've actually showed you before, like get k. So um, let's go into get k. So this is get k. This is pretty much the repository browser, and there's a lot of ways to get at this information um, through uh, you know say get log and you know just being on the command line. But this is just a very nice interface for uh, going through Git. And I'll, I'll be talking uh, in much more depth on this, showing you around each individual component later. You know, I've showed you before, like, you know, just the basic uh, commits up here. And actually, as you see down here, just a, a little overview. These are actually the changes, like removing lines and adding lines and stuff like that. But we'll come back to this later. So... Um, well, actually, we'll stay in here for just a moment because there is one thing I really want to uh, talk about with get. Every time you make a commit, so you have these commits, and you see this big, long, crazy, you know, mishmash of 
numbers and letters. This is a SHA identifier. Each commit has a unique identifier, which is a SHA-1, which is a hash of you know that commit. So um, the thing is, with these different, uh, you know, the hashes, it allows you to get back to this particular point in time, this commit. So if you want to do something based on this commit, if you want to come back to this point in time, if you know the SHA or the hash, you can get there very easily. Now, there are, you know, other things that you can do, which are called tags, which allow you to basically point to a particular hash. Um, and that's that's something you know we'll talk about a little later, uh, but you know for now the you know the thing to know about these is they're they're very important to getting around Git. Uh, you know they give you a lot of power that certain uh, you know other version control systems they just have uh, numbers and you know this kind of goes into a lot more theory on Git. And if you want really in depth theory, uh, there's a particular. Uh, video that I think you should watch, which goes into a lot more depth on this. But just for now, um, what I'm going to talk about with these is they ha kind of have a dual life from you know the end user point of view of being a commit or an actual point in time of the whole entire version control history. So if you know about a particular SHA, you can get back to that particular point in time of the whole entire repository. So they kind of have a dual life in that respect. So, you know, th these are, you know, very important. You know, something, you know, they look funky, but usually you don't really have to know, you know, what they know them. You know, you don't have to memorize them. But being able to just copy these and use them when you need them is very useful. So when you, you know, have a particular one of these, um, let's look at a an actual commit of something changing. So you know this commit, like every commit um, in the back, you know, end of get represents uh, an object, and you know the way it stores, you know, collection of objects, which goes into a lot more theory. But you know, as you see here, you know, this commit has one file and has these changes. So. You know that that's kind of like you know the, it's just a pointer. So, moving on a little bit uh, here, uh, it's not too much else we want to show you in Get K, but something else uh, to note. Let's uh, just uh, let's see. Well, jedit test txt. Just make a random file here quickly and now in get uh, something else I want to show you is get GUI and I'll show you a lot more about this in another uh, video as well but you know just to give you you know an overview this is pretty much the main uh, user interface that I use for making commits and it's you know it doesn't look like much but Trust me, this particular program, Get GUI, is very powerful, and it's very worth getting. Uh, you know, it's very worthwhile getting to know this. Um, and I'll be talking about this one in much more depth in another uh, tutorial. And there's a lot of other things that I I won't touch on here too much, but you can pretty much run Get from this UI. Um, it's very powerful, very worth looking looking into getting to know this. So those are some of the basic, you know, high level parts of Git. But just to give you, you know, some more resources, uh, the Git main w website, git dash sem dot com. This is, you know, Git's main, uh, you know, websites. Uh, anything going on, you know, kind of goes through here. This is where they release stuff. Uh, they have even more, you know, documentation, links to free books like ProGet, which, you know, you can read through this. And, you know, it's completely free. Lots of information, um, you know, through here. Another really good uh, video that I'd suggest watching is this particular video of uh, Linus Torvalds. Uh, presenting at Google. Uh, he talks about Get, what it is, you know, how it's kind of useful and whatnot. Uh, it's a very good video. 
in tradition with Linus, don't take him too seriously. He is very, very sarcastic. But, you know, it's kind of to, you know, be a little funny and to get that point across a little bit more poignantly. Obviously, he called his virgin control uh, system get, which is slang for an idiot. But he talks about some of the basics of uh, get and why he used those uh, shaws that I talked about, the hashes. Um, and, you know, it's it's very worthwhile actually watching it. It's an hour long, but, you know, it's not too bad. And if you want to, if you're using get, you know, this gives you like an idea of, you know, why get is and, you know, what it is and how it is the way it is. Now, if you want to go deeper, there's this particular video, which uh, these videos will be in the show notes. Um, I'll link them up uh, probably below this video in, you know, the more uh, information section. You might have to click something to pop it out a little bit more, but I'll put links to this uh, in there. This is another really great video about Git. This goes into a lot of the like theory and you know why Git is the way it is. It's two hours, very long, but it's you know it's a very good intro. And the guy who does it, he sounds uh, exactly like the dude from The Big Lebowski. Uh, his voice is like you know right on uh, that, which is just very funny because it's like the dude is talking to you about get whoa so very good video but uh you know lots of information those are a couple more uh resources for you to check out um let's see what else can i tell you about get um those pretty much that's pretty much the the good high level of it uh so Next time, I'll be talking uh, more in depth uh, about you know a particular uh, feature of Get. Actually, in the next uh, several videos, I'm going to be doing some very quick videos of here's a particular feature. Uh, I think the next two videos are going to be how to install vi uh, Get and then set up Get. Um, and I guess that's all for now. So I'll see you next time.